Hello, my football fans, and welcome to the Touchdown Ladies podcast, where we talk about football and a whole lot more. I'm your host, Cindy. <clears throat> Let's get into it. Now, I want to start off by saying there was a prize wins that this season, week four of the regular NFL season. Now, these are the teams that surprised me that won games. Now, I had the Jets over the Broncos, but the Broncos wind up winning over the Jets 10 to 9. I had the Browns over the Raiders. The Raiders wind up taking the game 20 to 16. And I had the Eagles over the Bucks, which the Bucks took 33 to 16 over the Eagles. Those are the surprise wins for me for week four of the regular NFL season. But I want to shout out to the Bengals. The Bengals finally won their first game over the Panthers, 34 to 24. I'm really surprised that they won. I'm glad they might be on the right track. I'm still rooting for Joe Burrow. You know, he's coming back off that injury. So this is his first year back um, playing. So hopefully he'll be healthy for the rest of the season. But I think the, I think the Bengals might be on their way of winning some more games. But we just have to wait and see. And I also want to talk about Anthony Richardson, the quarterback for the Colts. Now, he went out in an injury to his hip, and they had to bring in Joe Flacco to finish the game. And the Colts did win this game over the Steelers, 27-24. to Now, coming into this game, the Steelers were 3-0. and 3 and 0 start. There was a really good start for the Steelers, but this is their first loss of the season. And like I said, the Colts beat them 27-24. to but I want to talk about the Vikings and the Packers game. Now, this game was a really good game. The Packers, I mean, the, the Falcons, Vikings came in there, and they just dominated over the Packers. The whole first quarter was nothing but Vikings. Offense and defense, they just was running through the Packers. Um, they, they went into the half. The score was 28 to zip. Going into the half, the Vikings, Sam Donald really looked really well getting the ball out. I mean, he did a really good job. He is the real deal, and I think this is a good fit for him. But in coming in from the second half of this game, the Packers did step up. They did try to make a comeback, and they did rally in the fourth quarter. You got to go out and check out the highlights in the fourth quarter. That's when they made all, pretty much all their points. But the Vikings held on, and they won the game 31-29 to over the Packers. Now, the Vikings are one of the teams that's 4-0. and oh. So, they are the one. They're, the, they're sitting at the top of their division right now. So, shout out to the Vikings for putting away the Packers. I also want to talk about the Washington and Arizona game. Oh, this game. Oh. If you have not watched Jalen Daniels, you need to check it out. Even if you're not a Washington fan, you need to go watch him play. He is good. I just like the way... For him to be a rookie, I like the way that he played in this game. He get the ball out fast. I mean, for this team to be a rebuild, I mean, this team has gone through a lot. Um, new ownership, new head coach, new quarterback, and they are in a rebuild. And for them to pull it all together and be the top of their vision, the NFC East division, 3-1, and one, yeah. That division it was, I thought was kind of tough. It had the Eagles, the Cowboys, and the Giants in it, but... The Washington Commanders and Jalen Daniels is making it look easy. And right now, they sit on the top of the NFC East division. So shout out to them. They dominated over the Cardinals and Kyler Murray. They just didn't have anything to answer when Washington on offense and defense. So, yeah, I like Jalen Daniels, so check him out. He's worth watching. I also want to talk about the last game. I was disappointed in this game. It was a Sunday night football game between... The Ravens and the Bills. Now, I am a Josh Allen fan. Let me just say this. And I like the way they look coming into the season. Ever since, like I said, I'm going to say it again, ever since Joe Brady took off the playing calling last November, they've been winning games. And they went into this game with the Ravens 3-0. and But they came out 1-3. and I have to give it up to Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Derrick Henry, the first, the first possession for the Ravens, he ran for an 87-yard touchdown. Every 70 yards, just the first play that the Ravens did, he ran for an 87-yard touchdown. And after that, it was just on between the Bills, could not answer anything that the Ravens had on offense and defense. Lamar Jackson had two touchdowns, 156 yards. Derrick Henry had 199 yards, two touchdowns. I mean, the Ravens was just on fire the whole game. They dominated over the Bills, which I was really surprised coming into this game. I thought the game would be a little bit closer. The score was 10 the 35, 35 Ravens, and I was really surprised. Josh Allen did try his best to win this game. 
But I just think the defense for the Bills did not show up in this game at all. They was just being ran through. They couldn't stop the run, especially the run game of the Ravens. And Ravens is a running team, and the Bills had no answer to stop it. Derrick Henry, they could not take him down. I mean, he was just all over the place. And I was just, like I said, I was really shocked how the Bills' defense played in this game. On the offense for the Bills, I thought did an okay job. Like I said, Josh Allen did try to win this game. He actually wound up with 180 yards, um, no touchdowns, no interceptions. But overall, it was a good game. You know, I like both these teams. It only could be one winner, but I was hoping it was the Bills. <laughs> Well, we have to wait going into week four, week five. We have to wait and see what's going to happen with that. But for me, week five is a big week for me. I think that this is the week that all the teams are now pretty much selling and down. It's been kind of crazy out there in the NFL right now. Um, I don't know what it is. There's something crazy about from week to week, teams that have been get dominated one week wind up losing bad the next week. So it has not been a real consistency of um, winning as far as points-wise and teams that you think are the underdog winning games. So I don't know what's going on out there right now. Hopefully it'll settle down this week coming up, week five, this Thursday. Um, we have to wait and see. But this is the part of the show. If you want to ask me any um, questions or reach out to me, is anything you want me to talk about, you can email me at touchdownladies at gmail.com. That's touchdownladies at gmail.com. And this is a part of the show that I like to lead a show on a good note. So I like to go in my job. I'm going to reach in here and get something. It could be a fun. It's called Fun Facts in Football, where I reach in here, get something. I don't know what I'm going to get, but whatever I get, we're going to say. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and this is a joke. What did the football player say to the flight attendant? Put me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> and that was our show for today. And this is Sandy from the Touchdown Lady saying, don't forget to smile, be happy, be kind, put your action behind your plan, and keep moving forward. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.